Welcome to real-time auto test mechanical, electrical, and plumbing. So we're going to start with exercise one, auto test mechanical, electrical, and plumbing 2011. These are tutorials from auto test. We want to continue here. It's just telling us we're using an educational project, educational product. We're here at Los Angeles Trade Technical College School of Architecture. So we want to minimize this first. I recommend you guys watch all these videos. So the first thing right here is that you got to go to your project browser because the project browser is going to make sure that you have all your drawings together and referenced together. And we're going to utilize the database that Autodesk provided to us under the Research Building MEP. And you think that nothing happens here, you just highlight it and you're going to go ahead and close it. And then when you close it, that automatically is going to give you this dialog box that is called your project navigator. So literally, this dialog box allows you to navigate through the project. The project browser allows you to browse. It's like your explorer for AutoCAD MEP because your regular explorer doesn't really look at the drawings together. So that's why it's called a project browser. This is your navigator. And right here, this exercise can get a little bit confusing because notice here your constructs are divided just like a set of construction documents, architecture, electrical, mechanical, piping and plumbing, and then here you have your elements. So the reason we're going to be using architectural is because we're going to be identifying the spaces for you to air condition and to regulate the climate inside different zones because you don't want to have the zone that faces south be air conditioning the same that is air conditioning on the north part. So you're going to go here under spaces. And then we're going to be utilizing mechanical modeling spaces. You click on that one. And then this is the one that you're going to be operating. So notice here, so you have a given floor plan that already has existing intelligence, right? It has series of areas, corridors, mechanical, electrical, plumbing, conferences. And this is what is called the program. They call it here space style by color, but it's basically a program. It's how a building is divided. It's divided into a lobby, a mechanical office, restroom, stairs. And these are all the different areas with X amount of square footage that make this building. So this is actually called the program of the building. And these programs have a specific areas, a specific rooms and room names and different type of supply, how much air is gonna be coming in, how much air is going to be coming out, and what is mandated by the building code, air conditioning code, to ventilate so it doesn't have humidity or heat and it actually has the human comfort of the building. So how do we do this? So as I said, this is already smart. This building already has some areas identified. And the first thing is that we are going to use the simplest area, the simplest program for this area, which is called the corridor. So this is your corridor. So we're gonna go to your two pallets here. And if it's not open, you can open these two pallets from this tab, two pallets. And we're going to go, sometimes you're not going to see the spaces tab open. So you, all you need to do is open the tabs here that show a little bit here. You can see the different slabs and so on. So here it happens to be open spaces. And the first one we're going, so here is you're dragging the left button. You're going to push it up gently. Try not to touch the button that activates that command. Just move it on the right and push it up, push it up until you find the corridor. I probably passed it already. So here's the corridor, right? And then the very first thing is that you're going, notice how this is what's already previously this data set was smart. Notice how the rooms become red, right? Mechanical, electrical areas. And then right here, you're going to do the corridor. You're going to highlight it and notice how it becomes dash, right, or poche, and um, it's identified here at the bottom, it's telling you that is the corridor. So what are you going to do next? Well, first thing is that you're going to be 
um, assigning, you're going to right click on the corridor and then you're going to say generate all. So what are you generating all? You're generating all the spaces that make that building. So you generate all the spaces that make that building. So all the bronze, so here when you say generate all, notice what happens. Everything becomes dash, and you actually are assigning the different spaces to a given record. So this is one area, another area, another area. Okay, so the program, what the program wants you to do first is go and say, go to your schedule here. It's called the Space Engineering Schedule. I think engineers call this schedule something different, but we'll go into that later. But first, make sure that here at the bottom you escape because you are under a command. If you are under a command, you cannot bring another command. The machine can only take one command at a time. So you want to escape, click the Escape button, and you're going to choose here your schedule table, and you're going to click the center. Actually, you don't need to click the center, but you just want to update it. And you just want to update it. And once you update it, you enter. And then you want to remove your elevator area. Because we're not going to air condition that area at all. So you want to probably just delete that. And then guess what you need to do again? You need to go back to your schedule and update it. I guess it updated automatically. Then the next thing we're going to go here, oh, so let's go out here again, delete, and then we got to enter. Okay, so now everything, then you click on it, okay, so once that we identify that we this building is made out of all these different programs, right? We updated our corridor. Now we're going to also update here and tell the computer that we want to utilize these um, uh, program identification. So we're going to highlight it. And then we're going to go here on the top and say apply display theme. What this means, notice what that's going to change. Now this becomes ghosted. You enter. And now all of a sudden, our, our spaces, when we do a corridor, is going to be that color. When we do a conference, it's going to be that color, light bluish. When we do, where's lobby? Lobby here is going to be light yellow. So notice what we're going to do here. We're going, notice how also our floor plan changed. But right now, it's all one color. But when we go here under the left, under our two palettes, again, we're going to scroll up and down and find the different areas that make our building. Now, this can be very confusing because I was making this mistake. Make sure you don't click, left click. Because if you left click, your whole file gets um, strange and corrupted. You want to right click here, and then you want to say apply all everything that has to do with the lobby to a space that I'm going to click at. So you say apply two properties to space. And here we know that the lobby is going to be made out of this rectangle. And notice how you don't click on the center because it disappears. You've got to click. Actually, no, the lobby is down here. So it doesn't matter, you know, in this building it happens to be here. Of course, this type of information, you will have it in another type of document. Um, but it kind of makes sense. This is a bigger entrance. But okay, so you got to click here in the center or somewhere in the inside the rectangle. And then that tells you that that is the lobby. But for this particular building, the lobby is not only this area, but it's also this area. So that's a big lobby. And that's it. So now you're going to enter. And then you're going to escape. Press the button escape, and then notice how this change colors. And then notice here too, when you go up here, how this record changed to lobby, the square footage, how much supply you're gonna need, and what type of ventilation. Notice how you don't have the supply and the return yet, but you do have 
the amount of ventilation that you require for that space. And so on, then you can go next and do the same for the rest of it. You're gonna go to the next one, you can go to inventory, right click, you're gonna apply the properties to this space. So what is inventory? So you're gonna apply to that area, that's inventory, and these two areas. So inventory. So if this must be some kind of uh, office building or some kind of accounting building where inventory is the area where people are actually doing inventories. And then you're gonna enter. Notice how it becomes purple. And then you're gonna escape. And then that identifies that area. Now, why do we wanna separate the zones? This zone probably is gonna have the doors open and close more. It probably faces south. This area faces north. Probably there's not as much circulation. So you want to air condition these areas differently to save energy, right? So your dogs are going to come from the same central unit but you're gonna have a variable air volume system that air conditions your inventory area different than your lobby area. So the rest of the tutorial, you just go on and keep updating all your schedules. So at the very end and on our next tutorial, we'll be able to calculate the supply volume and the return volume. Thank you.